in this question here, we are given ball P, which has a mass of 0 0.16 kilograms, moving in the east direction at a velocity of 10 meters per second. So it collides with ball Q that has a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms moving in the west direction at a speed of 15 meters per second so after collision ball p moves in the west direction at a speed of 5 meters per second so this diagram here shows what's happening here so let's say that moving in the east direction is positive and moving in the west direction is negative so the first question here says that define the term momentum. So 4.1 momentum momentum we know very well that is given by P is equals to MV. We can actually define momentum using this equation here which says that it is actually the product of mass and velocity. So this is the definition of momentum. Now, 4.2 says that calculate the velocity of ball Q after the collision. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the, the information that we have for this question here. So for ball, for ball P, we know very well that the V initial is given as 10 meters per second. So it's going in the east direction, which is positive, right? So in the east direction, and the V final is given as 5 meters per second, which goes in the west direction. And then for ball Q, we know very well that the initial velocity is given as 15 meters per second, which goes in the west direction. And the V final is what we don't know. So the equation that we're going to use here is mv of ball p initial plus mv of ball q initial is equals to mv of ball p final plus mv of ball q final. So we're going to substitute the, the, the information that is given here. So the mass of ball P is given as 0 0.16, so it's 0 0.16 kilograms. So you can see it from the information given here, 0 0.16 kilogram. And its initial velocity, as we wrote here, it's 10 meters per second. But we need to remember that it goes in the east direction. So meaning that it's positive. So we're going to leave it like that. Plus the mass of ball Q, which was given as 0 0.2 kilograms. So we're going to write 0 0.2 kilograms, and its velocity is given as 15 meters per second. So we're going to write 15, but remember that its velocity is going in the west direction, so it's going to be negative 15 meters per second. Equals to the mass of ball P, which is 0 0.16, and its velocity, which is 5 meters per second, but it goes in the west direction, which is, we consider as negative. It's going to be negative 5. Plus the mass of ball Q, which we know is 0 0.2, multiplied by the velocity of Q final. So we're going to find the product of these two here, which using our calculator, we're going to get 1.6 plus the product of these two here, 
punch in your calculator, you're going to get negative 3 equals to, and the product of these two here, you are going to get minus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 V of Q final. Then you're going to add these two here. You're going to get, um, so you're going to have 1.6 minus 3 and transposing the 0 0.8 is going to be plus 0 0.8. It's equals to 0 0.2 V of Q final. So adding these three here, you're going to get minus 0 0.6, which is equals to 0 0.2 VQ final. Then divide by 0 0.2, both sides. Then the VQ final is going to be negative 3 meters per second. So since it's negative, it means that it goes in the west direction. 4.2.2, we are asked to calculate the magnitude of the impulse of ball P during collision. So ball P. So what you need to know is, you need to know the information of ball P. So let me, let me use a lighter color. We need to know the information of ball P. So ball P, we know very well that the V initial is given as 10 meters per second which goes in the east direction considered as positive and the v final is five meters per second which goes in the west so which considered as negative so this is the information of ball p and the equation of impulse is f multiplied by change in t is equals to change in momentum so what you want to do is you want to substitute the given information, not forgetting the mass of ball P, which is 0 0.16 kilogram. So what we're going to do is we're going to say the mass, open bracket, V final minus V initial. So how did you find this? We know very well that the change in momentum is the same as the mass multiplied by the change in velocity. Right, so that's how we found it here. And then now, what is the mass? It's 0 0.16, open bracket. The V final is this one here, which is five meters per second. But remember that it goes in the west direction. So it's gonna be negative five. Minus the V initial is 10 meters per second, which goes in the positive direction. So we're just gonna write it as 10. And then when you punch your calculator, you're going to get negative 2.4, which is going to be Newton multiplied by seconds. So this is going to be your final answer of the impulse of ball P. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.